I am May K. Beale. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Welcome to TV6's PM Magazine. Once again, we're visiting Silver Dollar City, where they're celebrating the National Cross Festival all this month. May K., remember the balloon ride we took a few months ago? Oh, how could I forget? It was so much fun. Well, we were in Kingsport, Tennessee for a balloon race this past summer. And i got to tell you, balloons are beautiful to look at from the ground. Up in the air, during the race, it's kind of hectic. <laughs> Any balloon flight is an adventure. Once the balloon is launched, its speed and direction depend entirely upon the wind. Only a few people are skilled enough to put a balloon somewhere close to where they want it, and Charlie Schobel of Knoxville is one of them. Well, every once in a while, Charlie and his friends get together for a little race, a little friendly competition. These guys love to race balloons. You might call it a form of balloonacy. Well, the race is completely different than any other type of sporting event. It's not who gets there first, it's who gets the closest to it. And what makes it interesting is the winds are different every time, so every race is going to be completely different. This race in Kingsport, Tennessee, involves about 25 balloons, including Charlie's. It's called a hare and hound race. In terms of balloonacy, a lead balloon, or the hare, takes off alone, and after a few minutes, the hounds, the other balloons, follow. After leading the hounds on a merry little chase up and down, changing direction and trying to lose them, the hare suddenly drops down and plants an X on the ground. The hounds try to drop a bean bag on that exact spot. If they do, they win $1,000. The only problem? It's easy to go up and down in a balloon. Side to side, left to right, that's another matter. It depends entirely upon the wind. Charlie, how can you be so accurate with a balloon and the wind's just blowing you all over the place? Sometimes the winds will be fast, sometimes will be slow. Right now, we expect them to be real uh, light and variable winds to kind of turn us from one way to another. And we really don't know which direction we're going to be flying this morning. But our job is to find that hair balloon and get as close to it as we possibly can. <laughs> $1,000 is a pretty good incentive, so Charlie is very serious about having his balloon in tip-top shape. So is everybody else. Since the balloons are regulated by the FAA, like all aircraft, just before the race, the atmosphere is tense, but business-like. Some of the pilots are getting their own balloons ready. Others are checking out the competition. Since the wind will decide who wins the race, one thing that everybody does is send up a helium-filled balloon to test the wind direction. Well, as you watch the, the balloon go up, it will make slight changes to the right and to the left, and you'll try to remember where those changes are, so when you take off in the balloon, you can go right to that altitude, it'll go in the direction that you want. And the people that, that plan the best and watch where the helium balloons go and, and plot out their course the best usually win the races more often. When everybody is ready, the hare takes off like a shot. By the way, this rabbit's in no hurry. Which way to us? And the hounds, with the set of $1,000 in their noses, take off after him. Trying to get these things to go in the direction the guys want them to go in is a feat into itself. I don't even see how they do it. As you can see, the hare is out there in the distance somewhere, somewhere out there in the fog. I don't know where he is. He's down in the fog somewhere. We hope we'll find him when we get down there. We keep maneuvering back and forth, trying to find out where he is. But uh, it's definitely a foggy morning. <laughs> has Jerry landed? Does anybody know if Jerry's landed? Oh, oh, Roger. In just a few minutes, we learned the hare has crawled into its hole, and X marks the spot. Where they used to have an old employee's parking lot for Holston Valley Hospital, they have the X right there in the parking lot next to the creek at the bridge at the end of uh, Bloomingdale Pike. Where that is? Yeah. 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 Okay, enough of watching the scenery. It's time to get down to business. Calvin, looks like that road right there by that big building goes right toward the X. We're going to go up high and try to go back over that road and then go down and see if we can parallel that road right into the X. Out of 25 balloons, it seems that two others have the same strategy Charlie does. You know, it's a white and black balloon. He has went down. He is on an approach, I think, for the X. But there's always the chance for some good-natured ribbing. They called off the rain! You can go ahead and land somewhere. Uh, 
maybe it's best we didn't hear what he said. But fortunately for us, the ever-changing winds carry him off away from the X. And unbelievably, the wind carries us right for it. Come on, give me a left turn. You've been giving me left turns all day long. Keep up the left. Okay, let me know if you need me. Nope. To get it, we blew it right at the last. We're not getting the, the turn we wanted. This proves to be the only chance we'll have at the X and the $1,000 prize. The wind blows us off in another direction, and we're down to just one tank of propane. If you ever think, you know, well, I didn't get it this time, so I'll just try again. Oh, yeah, we, uh, every time I fly a race, I learn something new about the winds, and we practice, and, uh... I'm sure we'll get closer and closer each time. Not winning the race was a surprise because we thought we would. But the biggest surprise is just ahead. When we try to land, we find ourselves heading for a very steady and sturdy oak tree. Okay. <laughs> Lucky for us, the basket didn't tip over. Will Bank says if you're down to 10 gallons, you can declare an emergency and land in the field and not be disqualified. Can any of y'all get back here in the woods to grab a line and kind of give me a tug? Thank goodness the guys that own the oak tree came to help us out. Okay, if we can just go right up. Is there any way to go up right up this hill? We finally ended up in Ann Neal's backyard. It was exciting, but it woke me up this morning. <laughs> My flowers, but I didn't think... I thought surely the house was big enough for him to miss. Oh, well, another race, another adventure. But Charlie says he's not going to give up. He says he just has too much fun at it.